Brussels sprouts are one of those ingredients that do have a bad reputation, but it really shouldn't be like that because with the correct cooking methods and partnering ingredients, you really can make them taste good. And I hope this recipe can prove that to you. Also with Christmas around the corner, these are the perfect table filler to partner with all of your other favorite dishes. So let's get straight into it. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. Alright guys, let's start this off by pouring 2 tablespoons or 40 milliliters of olive oil onto a baking tray. And this is refined olive oil, not extra virgin, which is neutral in flavor and won't burn anywhere near as fast. Give the tray a little wiggle to spread the oil out, then make your way over to a preheated oven set at 220 degrees Celsius or 430 degrees Fahrenheit and heat the oil for 20 minutes, which is going to allow the Brussels sprouts to crisp up. Talking about Brussels sprouts, here is 650 grams or 1.4 pounds worth, which have been washed and dried. With these, we want to remove the root, not taking too much off of the actual Brussels sprout itself, and pick off any discarded leaves and imperfections, leaving us with a clean mini cabbage that's holding itself together nice and tight. Then slice them in half evenly until you have all of this. Next, here is 200 grams or 7.05 ounces of streaky bacon, which is produced from pork belly rather than back bacon, which comes from the pork loin. And with this, slice it in half to make it easier to work with. Thinly slice into even sized strips, rotate it 90 degrees and dice into even sized pieces. And I say even sized because that way it all cooks at the same rate. Once the prep is done, add the half Brussels sprouts to a mixing bowl and to this add in one tablespoon or 20 milliliters of balsamic vinegar for a complex, sweet, tart and slight acidic flavor. One teaspoon or 8.5 grams of honey, obviously for sweetness, but it also helps give these a beautiful caramelization. One teaspoon or five grams of sea salt flakes and of course, 10 cracks of black pepper. Let's then get our clean hands in there and make sure the Brussels sprouts are well coated in the flavors and seasoning. At this stage, the oil will be nice and hot, which will help prevent the sprouts from being like a wet sponge. Gently and carefully place them onto the hot tray and oil, doing so in batches, that way no oil will splash up at you. Then arrange them in the tray, laying them flat side down, which will allow for the outer leaves to crisp up and that flat edge to take on a great golden and almost caramel char flavor. Don't forget the tray's hot, then take them over to the preheated oven and roast for 20 to 21 minutes or until golden all over. In the meantime, place a pan over a medium high heat and whilst the pan's still cold, add in the bacon. Also, you may have noticed that we haven't added any cooking oil and that's because whilst we fry this for seven minutes, mixing frequently, over time the bacon's own fat will render out and cook the bacon using its own flavors. You can add oil, but it really isn't necessary. This has now been six and a half minutes and you can see how much of that fat has rendered out. This can now be given a final 30 seconds before removing it from the stovetop and pouring it out onto some kitchen cloth to drain. Also, you can scoop out the bacon and keep the fat and use the fat as a replacement to oil in other recipes, which only adds even more flavor but for this one, I'm not gonna do that. And once that's done, pop this aside for the time being. We can now go back to our Brussels sprouts, which have taken on amazing color and look nice and crispy. Remove them from the oven and you can see what I mean about the crunchy and golden outer leaves and that beautiful caramelization on the flat surface. With these now, gently tip them into a mixing bowl and you can use tongs for this. So I just have no feeling left in my hands. Then here we have 80 grams or 2.8 ounces of Danish feta cheese to which we can crumble in to freshen these up and give a great smooth texture. To this, also add in one quarter of a cup or 35 grams of dried cranberries, which are optional, but they do add a nice sweet and tart pop, which really balances that bitter tartness from the Brussels sprouts. Add in the crispy bacon for great texture and additional flavor, as well as a small pinch of sea salt flakes, and of course, cracked black pepper. Let's then get our clean hands in there to evenly combine everything, which will allow those flavors to become friends. Then transfer the mix to a serving bowl or plate, stacking it nice and high, which is a hospitality trick to make less look like more, leaving us with this fantastic Brussels sprout table filler and the sprouts themselves actually taste amazing rather than them being very basic and boring on their own. The only thing that's then left to do is make all of our efforts worthwhile and that is we can then dig in. So there we have it. This recipe right here serves six, and like most of my recipes, it can easily be double, tripled, and so on, or halved if you wanted to make less. To store them, you can place them in the fridge for up to four days, but I don't recommend freezing them just because once you defrost them, they will degrade very, very quickly. As for reheating, once you've placed on the other ingredients, such as the feta cheese and the dried cranberries, I don't recommend reheating them, but if you do have any spare Brussels sprouts left over, you can place them back in the oven on 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit, and just heat them up for about 10 minutes. Also, I usually say you can place them in the microwave, but don't do that because they will become really soggy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment, share, do all of that stuff. It really does help my channel out and consider subscribing along with hitting that bell notification next to it so you never miss one I upload. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe and enjoy.